to start a new document, you can either go to menu bar pull downs, which is this one here, click file and click new, or go directly to the standard toolbar and click this file icon, click part, click OK. And inside the feature manager design tree, which is this one here, this one is the property manager and this yellow color is the feature manager design tree. You can find the front plane, top plane and right plane. We're going to use the top plane. So click top plane and select sketch and go back to the command manager tabs. And inside the sketch tab, you can find circle. Click this drop down arrow. You can either select this circle that starts from the center or perimeter circle. We are going to use the usual one, which is the center. And click this origin. You can find the yellow color. Click that. Create a circle. Doesn't matter what size where you click. You can assign dimension. So inside the sketch tab, select smart dimension. Click the edge. Drag it upward, downward, sideways, or this side. And enter the diameter of 230 as shown in my reference drawing from this point to this point. It is 230. And click OK. Now I'm going to extrude this circle for 22.3, which is this one here. So I'm going to go to Features tab. Click that and select extruded boss and go back to the feature manager and change the dimension here for 22.3 click OK and now I'm gonna draw another circle on this face and click normal 2 to bring the drawing parallel to the screen and then click the sketch tab Select circle again. Click the sketch origin. You can see the orange color. Sketch a new circle. Go back to sketch tab and select smart dimension. And the diameter for that is 135. Click OK. You can use the wheel of your mouse. Press it while moving this around and then go back to features tab select extruded boss and inside the feature manager change the extrusion to 7.7 .7. click OK and now I'm gonna draw another circle on this face turn this around this face normal to go to sketch select circle Click the origin, sketch circle, smart dimension, click the edge, drag it somewhere here. And the distance from this point to this point is 157.2. So enter 157.2, click OK. Now go to features tab and click extruded boss and enter 2 millimeters for extrusion click OK now I'm gonna poke a hole through this face which is the inside diameter hole of the flange so click this face click normal 2 go back to the command manager tabs so click sketch tab circle again Click the sketch origin, create a circle, assign smart dimension, so click smart dimension, click the edge, drag it somewhere here, and enter 116, 116.1, click OK. Now go to features tab and travel to your right and select extruded cut, go back to the feature manager. Click this drop down arrow and select true all and click OK. Now I'm going to poke a hole through this face. I'm going to change the number of bolt holes to 6. So click this face, 
click normal to sketch tab circle hover over from the origin and you can see the dash line just bring it upward click anywhere here anywhere on this face create a circle assign smart dimension click the edge of that circle and enter 19.05 which is from this point to this point I forgot to dimension this one here but this is the same so 19.05 and click OK now I'm gonna dimension again from the center to this point and as you can see here from the reference drawing the distance between the two holes from center to center is 190.5 and I'm just gonna dimension from this point to this point so which is half of 190.5 so smart dimension click the center click the origin drag it sideways and enter 190.5 divided by 2 enter now half of that is 95.25 while at sketch tab move to your right and click this drop down arrow and select circular pattern and inside the feature manager inside this box click and select entity to pattern which is this one here inside this instances box change the number four to six which is the number of holes click ok now go back to the features tab and select extruded cut go back to the feature manager click this drop down arrow and select true all click ok and I think we are done I'm just gonna maximize this one so thanks for watching please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified when I have a new tutorial and see you again